Really, I mean, your girl is fat as hell. I mean, is it evident in Sister Big Bone 12 that I am like thick as all motherfucking get out? You got mail, right? Okay. Anyway, but I am thick as all out. As all fucking get out. But I don't eat a lot. But I eat the bad things. I eat the worst things ever. And then when I do eat, like, if, like, I'll wait, like, jeez, I'll wake up in the morning. I won't eat until about 2 o'clock. And when I eat at 2 o'clock, I'm getting, like, eight salt fish, a Long John Silver's fish, uh, some very, very fattening chicharrones with, like, gang of fat on them. Um, what else is in my rotation? Family seafood, um, three piece filet of sole and a half a jar of oysters. Um, what else? Mm, yum, yum, yum. Mm. Um, you know, shit like that. I mean, you know, and then I won't eat anything else. I'll just eat that one meal and that's it. But then, the, um, like about maybe, say, six o'clock or so, I'll just start in on my chocolate Hershey Kisses. Yeah, I love Hershey's Kisses. That's another thing you guys don't know about me. I love Hershey's Kisses. And I also love, love, love the Hershey Nuggets with almond. Oh. Oh. I love them. And I'll lay across my bed or across Ken's bed or whatever. And I'll just get at them. I mean, seriously, like, get at them. So... You know, my eating habits are very poor. I know that is something that I really, really need to change. I need to increase my cardio. Guys, believe it or not, as big booty as I am, I can actually run. I can get on a treadmill. Now, I, but you know what? Let me be honest about some things now. Y'all know I've been having this membership all year, and I took one foot in there all year long, okay? So, but this next, um, when I renew for the next year, next month, I am going to start back going. But, you know, my cardio is cold. Cold-blooded. Um, I was doing walk and runs, you know, so my agility is, is, is cold. And my flexibility is just off the chain. For me to be 200 and, what, about 28 pounds now... I'm, I, you know, I'm very, you know, I'm thick but a little athletic to go with it. And it's just kind of crazy that, you know, people, you know, prejudge people that are overweight and, like, they automatically feel like they can't do nothing but sit around and eat bonbons all day in fake diets and, you know, and all that bullshit and all that stuff. But not all of us do that, you know. But I will be the first one to say that my eating habits are off the chain. Just not good. I know that that's, some, that's something that I really need to change about Tina. Um, as well as increasing some cardio. Um, though I am going to get a little lipo. I'm getting a little lipo. But what I'm going to do though before I take on this lipo... I do need to increase my iron and, and orange juice intake to get my um, hemoglobin and my hematocrit on deck. So I won't have that to worry about. Um, I also have a... Um, um, they already done... Uh, I already have that stress test, you know, where they put you on, a, uh, on the treadmill and they check uh, um, your cardiac output and stuff. Um, so I have one of those already on file. My heart is pretty good. Let me knock on wood. It's just the fact that I'm fat. That's just it. I'm just fat. And, you know, I think that some people just aren't meant to be skinny. I've never been skinny, so I don't know what that is anyways. But I just think that some people just are not meant to be skinny. And some of us just need to embrace our curves the way they are and, you know, and all that stuff. And I do embrace my curves the way they are, but I still want some lipo. So, um, anyway, let me, um, get up and go wash my eyes out. I know I probably got madder and all kind of shit, but it's just on some real shit. And I don't give a damn. You guys know that by now. I really don't give a fuck about what people say about me 
or what people think about me or my life or whatever. Just let the record show that when it comes down to my parental skills, okay, when it comes down to the relationships that I keep with my friends, um, when it comes down to the admiration and the respect that I have for my parents, when it comes down to my faith in God, I don't really give a damn about um, what anybody else have to say about me. Like, really. Because um, none of you guys are on payroll with me. And and and, and none of, none of uh, the people that, you know, love to hate me, they don't help me spend my money. So, you know, what can I say? You know, and I mean that in all sincerity. I mean, I know a lot of... I know a lot of um, my friends and family love to go to bat for me all the time about the foolishness that seems to surface and the, 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 the hate mail and all those things that I tend to get. But, you know, um, just know that it's not going to move me. I'm still going to do what I do. I'm still going to remain steadfast. I love it. And this is who I am. And I think that this is what has been called upon me to do. And that is to talk and talk and talk. And as long as you guys lend an ear to hear, I'm going to keep talking. I love you guys. I do. Let me get started with my day. Bye, family.